Hello everyone. Let's take a look at this very quickly. Okay, and um, if you're new to this channel, subscribe to my channel. And um, if you're not new and you have not subscribed, please subscribe so that you can get more of this. And by that, you will be doing me a favor. So M plus N is equal to 8. These are equation 1. Then MN is also equal to 8, and this is equation 2. Remember that MN is the same thing as M times N. From equation 1, we can decide to make N the subject, so that our N will now be 8 minus M. We will call this our equation 3. Take note of that. Now, it is equation 1 that gave birth to equation 3. That means you should put equation 3 back into equation 2. So we have m in place of n, we have 8 minus m, and this is equal to 8. 8m minus m squared is equal to 8. I am opening the bracket. We need to rearrange, so we have minus m squared plus 8m. This comes here to become minus 8 equals 0. Multiply minus 1 by all the terms so that we can eliminate this negative. So in that case, we have m squared. Um, this will turn to negative 8m. This will turn to positive 8, and this is equal to 0. Now from here we have a quadratic equation and um, we will solve it by using the formula which is m equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac everything over 2a. Now what is our a? a is 1, our b is minus 8 and our c is 8. A is the coefficient of m squared, b is the coefficient of m, and c is a constant, which is 8. So our m now will be equal to minus minus 8, because b itself is minus 8. This negative will come off, b is negative 8. Then we have plus or minus square root of minus 8 in bracket, we we'll square it minus 4 times 1 times 8. This is because our a is 1 and our c is 8. Then we divide all through by 2 times 1 and that is still 2. m now will be 8 plus or minus square root of 64 minus 8 squared is 64 then minus 4 times 1 times um, 8. 4 times 8 is 32, so we have um, 2 here. Then 4 times 1 is 4, plus 3, that is 72. Okay, that is 72. Then we divide this by 2. Sorry, I wrote out of sight. Now our m is 8 plus or minus 64 minus 72 is minus 8. Then we divide by 2. Okay, now I want to split this. So I have m now equals 8 plus or minus square root of 8 multiplied by square root of negative 1. Okay, then we divide this by 2. If you multiply this 2, you will have this back. Our m is 8 plus or minus. This square root of 8 is the same as square root of 4 times 2. Then times square root of negative 1. And we divide by 2. Okay, so our m will now be 8 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2 then we have root 2 
then square root of negative 1 is imaginary. We write i for that. Then we divide by 2. Now, we can multiply this 2 by i. So we have m equals 8 plus or minus. We have 2i root 2. And we divide by 2. Now, our m is 2 into that is 4 plus or minus 2 into this, that will be i now root 2. So our m now is equal to 4 plus i root 2 or 4 minus i root 2. So these are the two values of m. But we still need to get the value of n from the equation n equals 8 minus m. Remember, this was our equation 3. Now, our n will now be 8 minus open bracket. In place of m, I'll put this value 4 plus i root 2. The first is to open the bracket. n is 8 minus 4 minus i root 2. This negative is opening the bracket, so our n is 8, not 8 again, 8 minus 4 is 4, so we write 4 minus um, i root 2. So, from here, now we are saying that when m equals 4 plus i root 2, n equals 4 minus i root 2. Now, let's go over to the other value of n. Remember, our n is still 8 minus m. So, n is 8 minus open bracket. This time around, I'm using the second value of m, which is um, this. 4 minus i, i root 2 in bracket. So our n will now be 8 minus 4. Negative, negative is positive. i root 2. So our n will now be 8 minus 4 is 4, then plus i root 2. And then we are saying that when m equals 4 minus i root 2, n equals 4 plus i root 2. So, we have solved this problem completely. And um, there is no real solution to this um, equation. And um, if you understood all these steps, then subscribe to my channel. And even if you don't, subscribe so that um, you can meet more of this.